So hello everybody. So this is a very quick presentation about how to create an online presentation out of your PowerPoint or your PDFs. And um, so I assume you have a PowerPoint or PDFs and, um, and you're using Zoom to um, re record, to create your own presentation out of this for online delivery. Okay, so, um, so if you wanna use Zoom for this, so there are um, a couple of prerequisites, actually two of them. So the most important thing is here that you need to use um, Tix's box here, optimize for a third party video editor. Then this um, enables or generates MP4 or H264 output. You can also optionally here define where these files are saved. So I've put this here into the directory eZoom and, um, and then I know basically when they, where they're ending up. So once we have set this up with the um, prerequisites here, then um, what you need to do next is here. So you just um, in Zoom, just create um, a new meeting and just a new meeting with yourself. Um, and that's the basic idea behind this. You are, you are just recording your own meeting with yourself. And um, then this looks like, looks like that. And um, so you see here, then this join with computer audio means that it's, it's recording your microphone, what you want to do, what you also do with other Zoom meetings. Um, and then you see down here, this um, palette of different options here. And um, important here is this, this share screen option here. So with share screen, you can, um, you share your own screen um, and then you can capture whatever is in the screen. So for example, your, your PowerPoint presentation, you can do this at the start so that the students don't see you at the start if you don't want to have that or do it later after you've introduced yourself and, um, and then off you go and you're, um, and you're doing your presentation. Um, so within the presentation, the great thing is about Zoom is um, you've got this annotation function here. So this annotation function here gives you different options to scribble on the screen. So therefore, if I, if I do this here by myself, so if I go in the annotate function and get a, get a pen, so here then, then you see um, just by using the mouse, I can, I can draw in here. So obviously with the mouse, it's a bit, it's a bit clumsy. I've got here also this brand new, brand new tablet here where I'm a bit, a bit clumsy just now, um, but, uh, but it should in theory allow more sophisticated drawing. Um, well, it doesn't really work here with the drawing just now, um, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting better with this and you also getting better with that. Um, so let's clear this here and, um, and then just move on to the next slide. Okay, so um, so if you have done it in one go and you're happy with that, you can directly upload this um, on Moodle or on YouTube, the files, the MP4 files, and they're directly showing up in the player in, um, in either Moodle or YouTube. And um, if you want to keep it on YouTube a bit more private, you can also just upload this with the so-called unlisted option, then only the students will find it if you give them the link. Um, in terms of video editing, so the, um, it's it's still very simple. So under Windows, DaVinci Resolve is there. Um, under on the Mac, there's an iMovie for Mac, and um, and so the, these programs are quite similar. And um, I'm going to explain this in other video clips a bit more in detail. But um, just now here um, quickly, the um, basic video editing tips. Um, if you if you're working on this here, and for that again, I um, just quickly enable here the, um, the, the annotate function. And so if you're starting the video editing program, so that's a video editing program here. In this case, it's DaVinci Resolve. And that's here um, just, a, just a file, the MP4 file here. So if you're starting the editing, the best thing is if you just pull that file um, into the editing program, and then you see it's asking here um, about the basic settings. And so the program will just take the the settings from this first file and then with that everything is fine and um, anything else will just fall into place and you can just edit here on the timeline, um, combine your different clips, remove us and as if you want and uh, make it a bit more slick and, um, and then at the end um, just export this again as an H264 so basically the same format what Zoom generated and um, just use the default settings; they're usually fine. Um, and then, and then you've got your got got your file. 
So let's just um, clear the drawings here. And so, so in summary, um, so the idea is that you record a session with yourself as MP4 clips, um, and then you use screen sharing to capture your, your presentation. And um, of course, of course, you can capture anything which is here on this on this screen here. So software, video, um, um, visualizer, and um, anything else you would like to pull or pull on the screen. Um, and then use the annotations tools to make it a bit more lively, um, which Zoom has to offer. Um, and then optionally, just edit your lecture together in an editing program. Or um, if you don't want to do this, you can also upload shorter clips directly to Moodle and then combine them there in, in Moodle just under a topic, for example. Or um, if, you, if you're using YouTube, YouTube has playlists. And that's what I do is, so I'm just uploading um, there's these separate clips on it and create a playlist. It also makes it easier to replace clips later on. And so, so that's all what I, what I have to say about this here. And you see it's pretty straightforward.